Hello again. This is your host, Pearls, doing my Let's Play of Gigantic Jewel Lost. And we are trying to figure out a puzzle in which uh, this snake needs to get into this chamber. Uh, well, I'll show you what happens. It gets into this chamber without, um, I don't know. <laughs> that worked out real well. Getting he, He's like too long, so he, he'll hold this down, but he needs to, he'll get stuck right here, and I need him to be like three long, and there's no way for this to happen. I'm not going to be able to get him to kill himself on a bunch of uh, mimics, I'm pretty, or decoy potions, I'm pretty sure, like even if I put him all in the doorway here, because he'll just eat them and get away. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not the solution. He's too long. So I'm looking around for like a 2x2 two two spot where I can actually get him like stuck, but all these edges here don't make any sense because he'll just get caught on them, so I actually can't use these edges to get him caught on himself. So I don't see any really good like 2x2 two two spot where he, or like a, yeah, 2x2 two two where he can just like turn on himself and start eating himself. I don't see anything unless... I don't know how snakes work with bottles or just potions in general. Um, guess I could find out. Is that the same spot? Yeah. Um, I don't have any reason to believe that this will work, but maybe? Boy, that'd be weird if it did. use one more. I'm going to actually put it here to see if I can't lure it away the last possible second. So I'm actually leading him in here trying to get him stuck on the bottles. So let me uh, give this a shot. Okay, that definitely works like I thought it would. But now the question is, will he want to go over to... The, the, he really doesn't, does he? So I don't I don't know if I can like time this differently so that he just kind of chillaxes and but he doesn't seem to want to come back over there not really he just seems more interested in kind of hanging out oh oh wait a minute dang it hold on hold on hold on hold on can I back up one oh crap um. I, uh, this is this is totally gonna work if I can just plan it out a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna go up one here just in case. So you see what I'm doing here with the overlapping? So I'm actually going to put this decoy push in here, so he'll kill himself crossing that once, and that should be enough to make him just the right length, because he was three coming out of here. I'm almost sure of it. And one more right there. Okay. Let's see if this goes any better. Where was it about here? What was it? So there's that. All right, go. Cuts himself once. Perfect. Step. Move. Oh. Yes! Oh, so good! Why are these puzzles so good? Oh, it's unreasonably good puzzles. Why? <laughs> Who thinks of these things? This is just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant puzzles. Wow. I mean, and, the, and they lay it out so it's like not really finagly. I like looked around the room. I cannot kill this snake with all these mimics. It's impossible. He'll get out of whatever loop I plan for him because I can't be expected to like figure out decoy placements in order, right? That right? And and there's no way I would be able to let him like there's only like six I could possibly make cross a path. So it would be way too long for that. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. I need to lure him 
and this is the only thing that made sense, is this is the only region where I could have him, like, get caught on himself. And that, ah, it feels good. Feels good. Feels real good. Feels good, man. So let's work on this one. Okay, so he eats the goblin. I have a feeling that's a problem. What does this do? Opens up this door, but I can't step up there, and a snake getting up there would be bad because he would just get stuck because it's not a red snake, it's an adder. Which means... What's going to happen here? Oh, that's going to continue eating, isn't it? And that's going to that's gonna open up this door, which then leads the... Okay, got it. So my guess, is what I have to do here, is actually convince the adder to not eat the goblin. Let's see if I can't do that really quickly. Oh boy, this is going to be annoying. I'm going to try my sword this way first. Nope. The only thing I can really think of here, hold on, is perhaps this? There we go. Convince the snake to go up. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Alright. So there's the first round of, of nasty that I can deal with. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, you should be safe for a little while. I could probably do a little bit of work here. Oh, stupid goblin. Alright, well, I'm off to a good start, I think. Alright, I'm more or less okay with what's happening right now. Was okay. Get yourself caught some more. I'm okay with this. Get a little longer. Okay. Come on, get out. Will there be any way for me to do this and not get myself immediately killed? <laughs> Okay, that looks looks better. All right, not too bad. Not a bad puzzle either. You get up there. Well, there's really no reason why I can't just eat the goblin, will you? Oh. All right, good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. Not too hard. Interesting though, keeping the goblin alive for a certain length of time. Kind of a nifty pseudo management puzzle of a horde, but the horde being a singular creature. Oh wow, that grows fast. Um, I have to do one of these numbers and like skip around. Whew, that was close. What's up here? Nothing. Looks to be another secretish area. Uh, where can I possibly go? Da -da 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 -da. Hey, a secret! Welcome to Happy Worker Town. Beethrill, so nice to see you. Remember us? I don't, honestly. We were slaves of Dr. E. Will until you set us free in the prequel. Oh, I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here? The tunnel we used to escape the mega complex led us here. This seemed like a fine place to start a new life as free men and women. How do you like our new village? It's called Happy Worker Town. It looks nice. Congratulations. We're so happy to have you here. Stay as long as you please. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Uh, what's in here? Is this like a way into the next level? And what's over here? Oh, whatever. I'll go take a look down the stairs. Found seven secrets. Okay. The long path. To help townspeople in distress, Beethro descends into the long and twisty tunnel filled with hungry roaches. Oh, well, this is a change of pace. I'm going to avoid this for now. I'll do this later. Anyway, I've run out of time. This has been your host, Pearls, doing my Let's Play of Gigantic Jewel Lost. And apparently I found a crazy sect of villagers in this town. So, I will uh, investigate them next time. Until then, I will...
See you all later. Bye-bye.